Hey guys, I finally got my new MacBook Pro with M1 inside and I know M2 is around the corner available for purchase but I still went for the M1 inside since it is much cheaper and it gets the job done. But let's not talk about the MacBook or the Apple Silicon inside but let's move on to the star or the stars of today's video. These protective accessories are the stars for today's video and I am really excited to share it with you guys and install this on my new MacBook Pro. By the way, if you are to search the difference between the M1 and the M2's dimension, well, you will not see any difference for the MacBook Pro. So these accessories are also suited for your new MacBook Pro with M2 inside. So before we start, please send some love by subscribing to my YouTube channel and if you have any content requests you might think of, feel free to comment it down below. Also, all of these items have been purchased with my own money and this is not sponsored. Everything in this video comes for my own expenses and for my own use. So this is actually my second MacBook. The first one was a 2019 and for some reason I have to set that out. Now I was able to save up and bought this new MacBook Pro with M1 inside. So as usual, let's proceed with an unboxing then to the protective accessories. Now for the accessories, of course we do have protection for the BCS area of the device which is for the trackpad. Alright, next up, what's inside of this packaging is a silver palmer's protection that doesn't really match the space gray colorway. I am thinking that it is something that can make my MacBook stand out from the crowd. I also did get a touch bar protector film due to the fact that glass touch screen could be prone to scratches with all those sliding through the volume control and brightness control.
This specific accessory isn't a new one since this was from my old MacBook charger. Since they have the same size, this goes with the new one. Just imagine how heavy Apple 67 watt charger, one hits on the floor, and it's bye bye 3,000 Philippine pesos. And lastly, we do have a case. Unfortunately, the eye blossom that I really love, I even created a video for it, doesn't match or fit the MacBook Pros and ones I even emailed them and they responded to me, so here is a screenshot for your reference. So I have to go for a different option and got this one from Smart Devil from Shopee. They do have an equivalent last mall on Lazada if you prefer it. So this case is a soft case and safer unlike those hard acrylic cases that could cause scratches and screen breakage. Attaching the case to the display clamshell took me some time since we all know how thin and fragile MacBook's retina display. So this requires some patience to carefully snap the clips to the edge. So guys, I should have planned better and have the case first before all of those protective films. So what happened is that the palm wrist protector is in the way of the clips. So I had to try to align it to make it look better. Unfortunately, this realignment causes some cosmetic changes to the film and this is how it resulted. Thankfully, I do have an extra one and this one is way better than the first one. Once inside this packaging is a transparent polarized protection and yeah, let's get it applied on the MacBook Pro.
Alright, so those are all the accessories that I have for the new MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon inside. If you are interested on any of those accessories, I'll put a link on the description box below so you guys can check it out later. So yeah, that wraps up my video. Let me know your thoughts about these items in the comment section below and please do like this video if you find it very helpful. See you on the next one. Goodbye!